He is known for his illustrious career in both Broadway and Hollywood, spanning five decades. He is recognized for his ability to portray relatable everyman characters on screen and stage. His name is Henry Fonda. In the world of American cinema, one name stands out as an icon, Henry Fonda, the legendary actor whose talent graced both Broadway and Hollywood for over five decades. Born and raised in Nebraska, Fonda began his acting career on Broadway before making his mark in the world of film. With his charming everyman persona, Fonda quickly rose to stardom and became known for his memorable performances. Fonda's breakthrough came in 1935 when he made his Hollywood debut. From there, he went on to star in a string of successful films, including the classics, Jezebel, Jesse James, and Young Mr. Lincoln. It was his portrayal of Tom Joad in The Grapes of Wrath that earned him a nomination for the prestigious Academy Award for Best Actor. During World War II, Fonda served his country and then returned to the silver screen, starring in notable films such as The Lady Eve and The Oxbow Incident. He also made his mark in the Western genre, starring in John Ford's acclaimed films My Darling Clementine and Fort Apache. Fonda's talent was not limited to film, he also shone on stage, starring in the warboat ensemble movie Mr. Roberts, a role he had championed on Broadway. As his career progressed, Fonda continued to take on diverse roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He played a villain in the epic Once Upon a Time in the West and charmed audiences in the romantic comedy Yours, Mine and Ours. Fonda even portrayed military figures, such as a colonel in Battle of the Bulge and Admiral Nimitz in Midway. Fonda's illustrious career came to a fitting end with his final film, On Golden Pond, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Sadly, he was too ill to attend the ceremony and passed away from heart disease five months later. He left behind a lasting legacy, not only as an actor but also as the patriarch of a family of talented actors, including his daughter Jane Fonda and son Peter Fonda. Henry Fonda's impact on the world of cinema is immeasurable. His talent, versatility, and everyman charm made him a beloved figure, and his performances continue to captivate audiences to this day. As the American Film Institute recognized, Fonda is truly one of the greatest male screen legends of the classic Hollywood era. Born in Grand Island, Nebraska, on May 16, 1905, Henry Fonda grew up in a close-knit family. His father, William, was a printer, and his mother, Herberta, took care of the household. In 1906, the family moved to Omaha, Nebraska, where Henry spent his formative years. The Fonda family had a rich history, tracing their roots back to an ancestor from Genoa, Italy, who migrated to the Netherlands in the 15th century. In 1642, some members of the Fonda family immigrated to the Dutch colony of New Netherland and settled in what is now upstate New York. They played a significant role in the establishment of the town of Fonda, New York. Eventually, many of their descendants made their way to Nebraska by 1888. Henry was raised as a Christian scientist, but he later became an agnostic. Despite their religious background, the Fondas had a strong bond and supported each other, particularly in matters of health, as they relied on faith rather than doctors. Henry was a shy and introverted boy, preferring the company of his sisters over girls. He excelled in sports, particularly skating, swimming, and running. He also showed an interest in journalism and worked part-time in his father's print plant, envisioning a career in the field. During his high school years, Henry witnessed a horrifying event that would shape his outlook on life. In 1919, when he was just 14, he and his father witnessed the brutal lynching of a young black man named Will Brown during the Omaha race riot. This experience deeply affected Henry, leaving a lasting impression on him and instilling in him a strong awareness of prejudice and injustice. Despite his shyness, Henry continued to grow both physically and intellectually. By his senior year, he had reached a height of over six feet. He enrolled at the University of Minnesota, where he pursued a major in journalism. Although he did not graduate, he became a member of the local fraternity Chi Delta Chi, which later became Chi Phi's Gamma Delta chapter. After leaving university, Henry took a job with the retail credit company. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.